हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट हाउ आर यू ऑल आई थिंक एवरी वन आर फाइन दियर सो स्टूडेंट हाउ डू यू फीलिंग माइड बी इन अ कपल डेज यू आर गोइंग टू बी कम हेयर इन स्कूल ऑल राइट इवन स्कूल इज वेल प्रिपेर्ड फॉर यू सो स्टूडेंट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट लेटर राइटिंग विच पोर्शन लेटर राइटिंग सो टूडेज टॉपिक इज लेटर राइटिंग सो स्टूडेंट माइड बी यू आर एवियर अबाउट लेटर राइटिंग एंड दिस इज वॉट यू वेर प्रैक्टिसिंग फ्रॉम यूर प्रीवियस क्लासेस इज इट सो लेटर राइटिंग इज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ द राइटिंग सेक्शन सो स्टूडेंट माइड बी यू आर एवियर दैट द क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग द लेटर राइटिंग इज देयर इन यूर एग्जाम एंड एवरी वन हैव अटेंडेड इट is it i am right or wrong yes everyone have attended and i have seen your answer sheet those who have submitted here in the school so student there were two questions on letter writing both are informal what are they informal letter but here in this video we are going to discuss about formal and informal letter both together okay so letter writing is a portion which is given for your periodic test 1 examination for writing section is it for writing section and everyone have attended it is it all right students this is what i'm going to say you that letter writing is a scoring portion it is scoring question here if you have write the letter in a very simple and smart manner with proper format then you are going to score out of out in letter writing so letter writing is one of the very important part of the writing section so student let's begin with letter writing what as letter writing what its definition to whom we have to write the letter or what is the format of writing the letter this is what we are going to discuss here in this video so student let's quickly begin with today's topic without a further go and without wasting our precious time here letter writing so the definition of letter writing is the exchange of written or printed communications okay so what is the meaning of this sentence you are writing the message to one person or to the group of person so it is called here letter writing if you want to share your feeling your ideas your views your opinions your thinking and your message in the form of writing over a piece of paper and you are folding it and packing it inside the envelope and it will goes to whom you want to send then the whole process is called letter writing and that letter is read thoroughly by the receiver and after receiving he will get know about your message then it may be called here one proper and the very simple format of letter writing understood this is what the first definition says here so the letter writing is the exchange of written or printed communications is called letter writing what it is called it is called letter writing okay another point of letter writing letter writing is a very important activity in our daily lives be it for business or personal purposes so letter writing is very important okay in our daily lives we used to write letter to build our business we used to write a letter to our friends to share our personal views or personal messages is it so both two definition gives the best meaning for letter writing understood what which is which it is letter writing all right so let's begin with another slide what another slide says about letter writing writing is divided among two types how many types two types 
these two types as one is formal letter another one is informal letter okay so here we will discuss about formal letter and the informal letter what you have did in your exam is it so formal letter is what and informal letter is what this is what we have to look over so the formal letter is a letter which is written to the authority which is written to the office which is written to the principal's chamber or it is written to anyone who having the designation of officer who having the designation of government post or he is a master of any organization but but that kind of letter should be written to that persons who are very important and while writing to them we should mention each and everything properly then it can be well said that it is formal way of writing a letter understood so student what is formal letter let's read it out so formal letters are letters to people who we <laughs> don't know on a personal level in in other words formal letter are also known as business letter for example we may write to find out information and apply for job etc so student what is the first definition of formal letter says here <coughs> formal letters are letters to people who we don't know on a personal level so it is called here formal letter so these kind of letters were don't know okay and we are writing a letter to those to whom we don't know might be they are officers so for that purpose we should write a formal letter okay if the person is well known to us then we can write him an informal letter no issue okay and another definition says here in other words formal letter are also known as business letter what are they called business letter for example we are writing a letter to get some information let's say write to information from any organization or rti act or we can say for applying for any job okay we can write this kind of formal letter all right so let's begin with another slide so here we have an informal letter what it is what is informal letter so student do you know informal letter what it exactly means see an informal letter are letters of people who we know at personal level for example friends and family members so the letter which is written to friends and family members and we know this people very much and they are in regular contact with us then these kind of letter should be written to these kind of people in informal manner so student before beginning an informal letter let's explain you about what is informal so student when the school begins everyone have to wear which kind of dresses is it so everyone have to wear a proper uniform yes or no okay if you wear the proper uniform everyone looks like same so there is uniqueness there is unity and harmony in the class yes or no if one or one girl wearing different kind of dresses remaining are wearing uniforms so it doesn't look so formal it looks casual and informal in the same manner if you are writing a letter to your friends to your okay relatives or to your family members so you can write an informal letter informal letter means you can share any knowledge any experience any feeling any words with them because they are yours they are your own family members your own friends so they are not going to comment over your writing this is what here the way of writing of informal letter but student while writing an informal letter it has its own format so we should follow that format so let's begin with another slide what it says about here we have a slide on formal letter what it is formal letter so how to begin a formal letter here we are going to read 
so the first point for beginning the formal letter is start with the address what it is start with the address so what they have given top right side of page write the writer address on the page so in this point they they have given top right side of page either you can write top right side of page or top left side of page okay fine about whose address about the writer you have to write here sender address the person who is sending the address his address either should be written in the right side corner of the page or left side top corner of the page understood all right okay now comes to the third point after this write the name and address of person or business you are written to on left side of the page so what uh, this point is saying after writing the address of the person after writing the address of the person on the top left side corner of the page so you have to leave one line how many lines you have to leave one line after leaving one line you have to mention today's date then you have to leave again one line then you have to mention okay the top mention the mi middle part and the right and the left side corner of the page you have to mention whose address you have to mention the receiver address to whom you wants to write the letter understood to whom you wants to write the letter his address should be mentioned in the middle portion okay the left side of the page just below to the date all right let's say for an example so this is an example okay it is also formal letter but it is all it is always followed in the desktop not in the not for the writing purpose all right so what is the proper format of the formal letter i will leave one pick okay they are in the group your class group so everyone can watch it out so what is the format of formal letter and what is the format of informal letter all right so let's begin with an another slide so student after writing sender's address date receiver's address then you have to write here subject then subject comes okay after writing the subject subject means for what purpose you are writing the letter so student in examination two letters were given one letter for thanking your friend for his best wishes for your examination another question inviting all all the members of your friend circle for your birthday party is it so these were the two question for your periodic test one exam so in the subject you have to mention the main point which is mentioned there okay on a question so you have to take out that main point add some your own words and make one simple lucid and very sweet subject it shouldn't carry more than two lines it should be within two lines okay so you should take care about okay the quantity of the subject the quantity of the words understood after writing subject leave one line then you have to write the salutation so student here see the point use the salutation for this letter so student what do you know about the word salutation do you know dear sir dear madam okay or telling hi hello how are you so you are going to wish someone with this kind of beautiful words dear sir dear madam dear friends or respected sir respected ma'am or madam so these kind of phrases or these kinds of words are called salutation what are they called salutation understood student this is what okay this slide says now let's begin with another writing sender address after leaving one line then comes state just below to sender address leave one line then comes receiver address okay leave one line then comes subject leave one line then comes salutation respected sir or ma'am dear sir or ma'am then you have to write your introduction after leaving one line just below to the salutation here introduction comes while writing the letter the letter is divided among two parts three parts might be introduction leave one line middle body leave one line and conclusion so in the introduction part you have to write a short introduction that states the purpose of the letter 
the reason for writing so introduction always carries what is the purpose of the letter and the reason for writing this letter so these two points should be taken care while writing the introduction of any letter first one what is the purpose of the letter second one okay what is the reason for writing this is what it should be written here let's say one example have we have taken i am writing to complain about a shirt i ordered from your catalog last month so here this person okay i is writing a letter okay for complaining purpose for what reason for, for purchasing a shirt from their shop which is not good so this is a reason for uh, their letter understood so let's begin with an another slide student then comes the body of letter what it is body of letter so the body of letter is divided among first second and third paragraph and at last complaints let's see here first paragraph first paragraph should be an profile and qualification profile in the same uh, in the name of what what's your name which is your class okay which is your area location what is your address and you are studying in this standard okay this is what should be added here in the profile okay then comes your qualification okay you are studying in this standard all right then in the second paragraph you have to write your work experiences and duties what you are working now okay what are your duties hobbies and some what you are write for this second paragraph then comes the third paragraph where you have to write your personal qualities and the qualities of if you are complaining about something then you have to write its quality about the matter okay this is what the body of letter is divided among first second third so either you can divide the body of letter in one paragraph two paragraph third paragraph or you can only write one paragraph in the in the name of middle body no issue okay these three paragraphs are not so important either you can choose only one paragraph or only two paragraph or if you have some time you can write three three paragraph in the sense of middle body of the letter then comes an another point complaints okay justification acceptance of invitation or qualification so this is the last point of the formal letter let's say for example here we have an example firstly the shirt was not properly packed okay it was dirty and torn and it was not the color i had asked for what is more the people i talked on the phone were really rude and did not attend me properly i am very disappointed indeed and hope this that steps will be taken to rectify this situation this is what here you have to write if you are complaining about your product somewhere in the flipkart or amazon so you can write this kind of letter to the company understood student this is all about the body of letter and how we can write the letter while complaining okay to any authority in the name of formal letter okay section middle body then comes conclusion then comes here conclusion c conclusion means closing remarks or the final paragraph it is the ending paragraph where you have to put a full stop for your letter see here conclusion means in the sense okay suggested action to be taken or closing remarks express express understanding or promises so these all things comes here under the conclusion okay see suggested action to be taken closing remarks express understanding promises so this is what should be added added or taken under the conclusion part see closing remarks closing remarks means where you are going to close your letter okay by adding some suggestions at last okay let's say for example here we have one example let's do zoom it out see here okay example fine i will take further action if there is no response to this letter so here the consumer is writing a letter to the authority i will take some further action if there will be no response for this letter so i need a response for this letter so please give any response for this letter and try to solve my problem so student here what you have seen you have seen the whole format of formal letter how they uh, how they have written the formal letter okay what is the proper format of the formal letter okay all right let's begin with a student then comes what after this end of the letter and add to your signature then you have to put your signature that you are the one who are writing this letter for example you are swetuli xyz in this okay in the place of xyz 
you can write your own name otherwise you are sincerely in the place of xyz you can write your own name or anyone's name okay if you are writing actually for the authority okay this is what calls here at last and it is called here the ending of the letter by these kind of phrases all right students so student what we have learned in the letter writing first we discussed what is letter writing then we discussed how many types of letter one is formal letter and one is informal letter formal letter which is written to the authority officials or a uh, or it is written to any okay a higher peoples or a higher authority of the government okay or it is written to the government servants or a public servants okay who have more responsibility towards the public okay if you are writing this letter and the peoples who are reading this letter it is not known to you then you have to write the formal letter then comes an informal letter informal letter is always written to those peoples okay to whom to those peoples who to whom you know well and they are your best friends or family members or your relatives so you can write anything in the, in this kind of informal letter but it also have some format so this is what i am going to share the whole format of formal letter and informal letter in the form of images in your group so student see those images okay write the format of the formal and informal letter in your notebook and uh, i will leave some question related to the formal and informal letter so you have to okay write your own letter over those questions in your grammar notebook understood so student here we have discussed about the letter writing so watch this video from the beginning till last thoroughly the whole video is based on letter writing okay and note it down the points of each and every slide in your notebook so you will have a better understanding of it but here in this slide format is somewhere different according to the desktop but according to the writing skill we have some different format this is what i am going to leave you in the form of image or text there in your classroom okay student take care have a nice day bye bye and wait for an another video